Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me once again today. As always, I'm General Confusion, and this is Airships Conquer the Skies. A little bit of the old steampunk imperialism, eh, what? Uh, I'm a little bit late to the party on this game. I've just fired it up for the first time. Uh, it's been out for, I believe, a little bit more than a week. Yeah, launch week has ended, so it's been out for a, a little while. Um, and it looks really fantastic. I've been, I've watched it on a couple of other YouTubers' channels. Uh, Inter Elysium has been doing a very, very interesting series on it. And it looked like the kind of thing that I would be interested in because it involves a lot of fiddling with bits. It involves a lot of, uh, a lot of putting pieces together and calculating things and figuring out how, how the airships work and such. So, I am going to jump right in. Like I said, I have never played it before. I'm not going in totally blind because, as I said, I've watched videos on it and such. And we're just gonna, uh, see how things go. First thing I'm gonna do, though, is turn down the music just a little bit because... It seems a little bit loud. Music volume. Mm. And the sound volume could probably come down some, too. Okay. So, let's jump in, shall we? Let's go into conquest mode. Uh, and first thing we can do is we can decide all of our settings. I've got to leave it pretty much default. Let's go hard. Uh, medium size, hard, mixed land, default monsters, normal research, starting tech tier one. Let's edit our arms. So we have a whole bunch of different arms options and they give you bonuses. So an eagle makes you twice as accurate. A crown means you conquer cities instantly, etc., etc. Minus 50% armor cost, dragon riders. I, uh, oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, what seems useful? Revolting cities join your empire. Plus 30% lift, plus 30% damage. From what I've seen, it seems like high altitude ships and bombers are extremely powerful in this game. So plus 30% lift would probably be a super powerful bonus. Ships ready for commands twice as fast. Fires put out twice as quickly. And then a bunch of them have no bonus. They're just there to look cool. If you don't want to, uh, to uh, take a bonus. Uh, free technology would also be pretty cool, to be honest. I'm not sure what I want. Um... Let's take some technology. Let's let's fight with the default uh, the default ships, but have some technology. I'm gonna take an Estoil, or gunnery, metallurgy, reinforced hulls, and fortifications. And we're going to make our flag look like yeah. We're gonna take a bend sinister, and we'll have it be red. And can I not have can I not have red and blue? Uh, apparently there's there's limits. Apparently the uh, <laughs> the Guild of Heralds here doesn't like certain combinations. Let's take a black star and purple. There we go. That'll be good. All right. Let's do it. And we are Kolaran. Uh, let's be... Uh, what should I name us? Eh. Let's, let's be the... Uh, let's be Perfidious Albion. There we go. All right. Let's go. Okay, so Perfidious Albion is your home city. Cities of yours have your flag. Each city gives additional income, but also must be defended, etc., etc. So you get a starting fleet, and you can see the ships in a panel on the right. So we start with the Immoderate. Click on individual ships, select and deselect. You may want to construct another airship. Select a ship within your budget, and name it, and click OK. I have $259 right now. So, let's see what I can build. Nothing! I can afford nothing. Wow, I have a ship that costs five grand. Oof! Uh, okay. And it takes a whole bunch of technology that I don't have available. Ah, so it gave me a whole bunch of default ships. And actually many of these require technology that's not available. That is just a sh that's just lazy, I'm sorry. That's just a wooden sailing ship that you have put on top of a balloon. I'm sorry, a suspendium dust tank. It's a, it, it's just, you've just strapped a ship onto a, that's a caravel, I'm sorry. That's a caravel you've strapped onto a balloon, it's not acceptable. Okay. Uh, speed controls. Great. Scout for first conquest. Send a spy. Send a spy. Costs 100 bucks. Okay, let's send a spy there. So, my initial fleet. So, this is the game map. You can scroll in and out with the mouse wheel. Uh, it has a whole bunch of ships, a whole bunch of nations, and your goal is just to conquer everybody. So, I start with Perfidious Albion. Has Lax Secret Police. Tis, Pesara, and Gomdat. Uh, I have these little villages I can move to as well. These farms or something. That's Wheelton. These are oceans. We've got Tlun, Altinzal. I, I, I've lost my German pronunciation, the umlaut I'm not pronouncing entirely correctly. Dingleton. Ha! Dingleton. 
Uh, Kulnrvod. Catbridge. What a name, Catbridge. Umerbund. Can I look at other people's ships? I cannot. Esseract. Arctum. Gnosp. Or probably just Nosp. Walton. Axis Mundi. Ooh, very, very fancy schmancy. New York. Ackerdale. Lonlin. Leoc. Oddbury. Pale Sea. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of stuff going on. So, the Immoderate. Let's refit the Immoderate and see what it's got. So, we have a whole bunch of things in here. Wow, there's lots of parts. So, we've got a sick bay that can restore crew members. That's a repair bay. Ammo store. Uh, looks like a couple of ammo stores. We have three cannons. So, basic cannons, 40 piercing damage. Reload at three seconds. Fairly narrow firing arc, maximum accurate range 1600 meters. That's a coal store, so we've got one coal store is 50 coal, we have two ammo stores for 200 ammo. That's a suspendium chamber, so that's what keeps the ship up, and a propeller. Our surface ceiling is 67 meters, so not very high. And up here we have two rifles, that's the bridge, that's two more rifles. How do I remove rifles? Can I click and drag? Can I right click and drag? Right click and drag moves the whole screen. Can I double click? Uh, give me one second here. Okay, so I can left click and right click. So this is a rifle that I've got here. I'm going to remove these rifles, I think. I'm just going to take all that stuff off. We've got the bridge up top, which seems like a bad idea. Can I left click and drag the... Oh, nope. Left click and drag builds things. Okay. I'm learning. That's a fire point to extinguish fires. It seems bad to have it up there as well. That's a sick bay. I'm actually going to remove the sick bay uh, because I don't care about my soldiers. Like, I don't think I, don't think I need that, frankly. Quarters. Uh, right now I have 36 crew and I only really need 21. I'm actually going to move the bridge down into the middle of the ship, where it's a little bit better protected. I feel like that's probably a good idea. We can take off all this nonsense up front. We can also take off these because, yeah, those have weight. Like, making your ship pretty in this game is actually kind of a problem. Steel supply hatches on the bottom, you need those in order for them to function. Uh, but you need, that, that's a place for supplies to come in. If you don't have that, then it's, it's no good. Um, I feel like I could probably do it some more coal. I'm going to put another coal store, I think, on the back up here. Uh, maybe not next to the suspending. It's right next to the fire chamber, so it shouldn't explode too badly. So that feels like a good idea. Um, and then my only armaments right now are three cannons. So, how do I feel about weapons? I've got Bombay's cannons, Grand Ram Imperial Cannon. A preposterously large weapon. <laughs> I'm sorry. I enjoy that. I like that. I really do. <laughs> What's all the... How do we have a steel deck here? Take that off. Take it all away. I, I really want to put an Imperial Cannon on this thing. I'm sorry. That's, that's just so... That's just so silly. <laughs> um, instead, however, let's take... Um, see, I, I took away the, the, the muskets or the rifles because I just felt like they weren't all that important. Let's take a Grape Shot Cannon, maybe? What's a Grape Shot Cannon's Arc of Fire? 80 degrees. Let's put a couple of Grape Shot Cannons up top. We'll put one out front, and then one kind of right there. And we've got... up. Oh, nope, I did not mean to do that. Leave the ammunition, please. So that will give us some anti-crew power. Um, 280 meters. Shoots troops and planes within 28 meters. So that will give us a little bit of anti, yeah. And then let's put, let's also put a grape shot cannon on the rear in case we're attacked from behind. Ah, uh, we need a ladder for that. So, that was the wrong click. If we put it right there, we can go, th or, or we can put it right at the end and then put some corridors leading to it. There we go. Okay. That'll actually save us a little bit of money on the design, and I feel like it makes us more powerful. Like, I feel like we're, I feel like we come out better, because those muskets that we had, it was muskets, right? Maximum accurate range, 450 meters. They actually did have a longer range, but I like the idea of having grape shot cannons more. 
put that right up front. And then we can put a corridor with ladder right there. And now we actually have too many crew, like more crew than we need. So I'm going to take those. Okay, so those are quarters. All of those are quarters. I'm going to take those quarters out and replace them with just a couple of berths, I think. Like maybe just one, just, just, or two, one berth. Okay, so that saves us a little bit of weight. It pushes our service ceiling up a little bit and our speed up a little bit higher. Um, and we've we've sort of we've we've lost a little bit of dead weight. Feels good to me. We're going to refit. That'll cost us a little bit of money there. Uh, let's hit our research. So in terms of research, we have a whole bunch of things we can do. We start off with all these things. We start off with bombs, marines, rifles, cannons, propellers, and suspendium chambers. I would like. Oh, and we also have imperial cannons and medium steel armor, reinforced hulls. What would I like? Fire extinguisher sounds good. Uh, we have fortifications, so we have massive steel walls. We can also build land ships in this game, so we have tracks for land ships. And we can go up to legs, we can build mecha. Deck guns and gatling guns, I believe, are improved cannons. Let's get land ships, and then we'll go up to, to deck guns and gatling guns. Uh, right now we're doing subsidies, so we're spending 10 bucks a turn on research, which seems fine to me. We're making $101 per... I guess it's not a turn, it's a tiny unit of some kind. So let's just let time run for a little bit and see what happens. We're infiltrating Black Spire. We are refitting the Immoderate. The Immoderate is refitted. I think I'm going to send the Immoderate. Okay, so we're reporting from Black Spire. The income, size of its shipyard, level of its secret police, which determines how vulnerable it is to bribery and sabotage. So we can now view the city. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So Black Spire, let's view the city. See what kind of defenses they have. So they have this baby. It's got rockets, and it looks like stone armor. Looks like it's made out of stone, and it has a, a dude at the top. It would cost me 1,500 bucks to destroy it, so we're not going to do that. So my question is, can the immoderate, as currently constituted, take out a stone structure? I don't know. I don't know, but I might find out. Also, my secret police. It feels like my secret police could be better. Yeah, let's make the, the medium secret police to uh, improve, improve the Empire's security. Now, let's... So, Black Spire has stone defenses, hey? Let's send the Immoderate to invade Black Spire. Just, just to see what'll happen. I don't know what'll happen. Uh, but it looks like they are... Looks like they have moved to counter it. And that is moving to invade Gomdat. Okay, let's move to defend Gomdat. Will they get there before us? They got there before us. Okay, so. What do we what do they got? What'd they bring me? They brought me a wooden ship with it looks like a rocket on the front. And something on the bottom powered by a sail. And we have, defending Gomdat, we have this wee little bunker house over here. Which has a cannon that I can't see. It's not under command. Ah, so it doesn't have a command vessel in it, so I can't see inside it. Okay. What are they going to do to us? So we've got a cannon shooting at them, and it looks like a rifle or a musket up top. And it looks like they're going to hover there doing nothing. Oh, nope, they're shooting rockets. Never mind, they're doing something. Yep, they're definitely shooting rockets at me. It looks like, just, just based on the physical damage, it looks like I might be doing okay, though. Um, I don't know where my where my pieces are in this setup, unfortunately. Ooh, that was a bad hit. But they only have wood, and I've got stone. So I'm... Up, uh, they set a fire. Okay, we put the fire out. Yeah, I, I think... Mm, there I go. Yep, they, uh, they exploded me. Out of water, out of repair tools, not under command. We have lost. The Shining Tower has been destroyed. Okay, that's fine. Because now my ship is going to arrive. And I think my ship can take this ship. Let's move our ship back, because I've got range on my cannons. Let's just put my ship right back there. And we'll start. So now, now, let me pause real quick. So there's a whole bunch of commands I can give. Move, ram, ground the ship, transfer crew, board, target, launch tethers, that's for boarding. Focus on firefighting, repair, moving, or shooting. We're going to focus on shooting for right now. We can hold fire, aim, normal fire, or rapid fire. I'm actually going to set us on rapid fire. And you can only give a command to a ship every, like, occasionally. You can't give commands constantly. 
So we're firing here. Now we're going to move, and we actually want to be below it, because that will enable us to get our our top guns. Oh, I think our top guns are gone. Okay, let's move over here and flip. I think they hit us with a rocket. So we're a good bit slower than them, for sure. But we also have steel armor to their wood. I didn't actually check my armor values. I should do that. That, they're shooting at the wreckage of the, uh, of the defensive structure here. Target. Uh, those rockets are not doing me any good. But similarly, my cannons and grape shot are not doing them any good. So, oh yeah, I've still got my I've still got my grape shot guns. So hopefully we should be in okay shape. Yep, there we go. We exploded them, and they're uh, they're, they're disarmed. So yes, we get to win. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, so we've won our first battles. Let's pause up real quick, shall we? Now, Gomdat needs defenses. Uh, I need to build a building. What do we have here? So this defensive structure, it's got a cockpit, so a little one-person defense, two cannons, an ammo store. The Keep of Crows has four cannons, some rifles. That would be a lot better. And the Sentinel has practically nothing, just a couple of rifles. The Silent Watcher, on the meantime, has a huge bank of cannons on one side, plus a whole bunch of rifles. Defensive Platform 3... I can't build because it requires flak cannons. I'm going to build a Keep of Crows here. Let's build the Keep of Crows right there. That feels like a good uh, good defensive structure. And we'll leave. Yeah, yeah, I just did that. That's, that, that, that's fine. So, the Immoderate has proven itself against the enemy AI ships, and now we're going to send it to invade Black Spire real quick. Are they moving to defend Black Spire? Stop moving to defend Black Spire, dammit. I want you to die. So that's their ship. Uh, that's the same ship that we just destroyed. It's pretty bad. So I think as long as we stay well away from this thing, we should be able to just t destroy the ship and then take out the defensive structure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? We could lose. It could, could be awful. And that's my service ceiling, so I actually cannot go very high in this ship at all. So let's go there, let's start, let's pause. We're going to target that ship. Yep, he's shooting rockets at us for sure. He's got bigger rockets than the defensive structure, it looks like. Oh, and we've got him on fire. Oh, no, we put the fire out. Let's move like that. Get some grape shot going on him. Oof, that rocket hit us. He had bigger rockets, but he's not firing very often, so it's possible we've, we've uh, taken him out here. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Alright, pause again real quick. I don't know the hotkeys for this game yet. Pause should be P. We're going to target that. And then we probably need to switch to aim to fire. Because at this long range... And I do want to stay at long range, because those rockets will become extremely destructive if we come in too close. Am I not shooting? Okay, I am still shooting. Good. Alright. Let's move, like... Like... There. We are definitely taking hits. But I think on aimed fire mode, we should be able to, uh... Oh, the grape shot's shooting as well. Not sure if my cannons can out damage this thing, but I'm gonna give it up, 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 folks. I'm firefighting. Okay, let's speed up real quick and see if this uh, this siege tactic actually works in any way. Uh, we're not taking a lot of hits. We still got 29 of our crew. Ammunition is going down pretty quickly. Over on their side, how are we doing on damage? Uh, not great. Not great. Our cannons are having trouble punching things. But we're doing okay, to be honest. Uh, we've got a bunch of holes in the back end. And we are starting to get low on ammunition. Let's actually move back a little ways and get off the grape shot fire. Apparently, I can't get out of range of the grape shot. Oh, we won! 
We must have lit something on fire and had it explode while I was looking at my, uh, yeah. <laughs> we blew, we blew the whole thing up. Wow. Okay. So, uh, so gentle takeover takes longer. Brutal takeover goes quicker, but reduces income for a while. And pillaging just steals a whole bunch of money. We're going to go brutal takeover just so that we can take it over quickly. And once it's taken over, we can repair and, oh no, we can't repair. Well, once it's taken over, we can build defenses. So let's build another Keep of Crows. Not a Silent Watcher, it's very one-sided. I'll need to design my own uh, defensive structure at some point here, but the Keep of Crows will work for now. So, that'll be fine. And I would like to repair the Immoderate. Did the Immoderate take no damage? I mean, I know the Immoderate took some kind of damage. But for now... Okay, for now we're doing all right. I'm actually going to cut this video here. I know this is kind of short, especially by my video standards, but... I don't have a whole lot of time tonight, and this, I think, serves as a decent little introduction. Next time, we're going to get into some ship design, because based on the technology we have available, I think we can do better than the Immoderate. I mean, the Immoderate is pretty, uh, the Immoderate's pretty cool, but it's slow, it has a low surface ceiling, and its weaponry is not super, super impressive so far. I mean, it's okay, it's not bad, but, uh, I would like it to be better. So, that is going to be our, our, uh, game for today. Oh, Dingleton's been taken over. Oof. Tough break. I'm going to send a spy to Dingleton, and I'm going to send a spy to... Oh, giant spiders! Oh, lord! Okay, great. Uh, let's, let's view Dingleton. What does Dingleton have? Dingleton has a giant balloon ship, and it looks like they're in the process of building defensive structure. Oh, they don't have any defensive structures. You know that thing I said? Never mind. We're actually going to do one more thing before we leave. We are going to invade Dingleton. Because they have no defenses right at the moment, and now is the time to attack, I think. Yes, we got there before the defenses were done. So, this this place has balloons. Oh, they're higher than us, though. So we need to be back so that we can hit them with our guns. They've got rockets. We are coming at them out of the sun. Go to rapid fire. And back. Oof. Oh, they rammed us. Rude. Oh, and they've got bombs. Move, 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 move. Get the cannons back online. Get up there. Uh, ramming them might be our tactic, actually, since we have a heavier ship. Oh, they're on fire. Okay, ram. Ram the, ram the balloon. Ram the balloon. No. Okay, good. They're on fire. Things are exploding. Excellent, excellent. Now we're on fire. Folks, on fire fighting. Uh, quick, put the water out before the cannons burn. Pull back. Pull back, pull back, pull back before they explode all over us more than necessary. Uh, cannon's still on fire. I was, I would, I would, uh, I don't like that, but we won. <laughs> By immobile, I think you mean destroyed, except for the balloons. <laughs> All right, we're going to execute a, uh, a brutal takeover here in Dickleton as well. And let us pause and build some defenses here. We're going to build, we're going to build a silent watcher way at the back of our zone and then we're going to build a keep of crows kind of a little bit further forward and then we're going to repair our airship okay so that should be fine should be pretty good there and Capridge has conquered Sigun and Umerbund so it looks like the uh the nation here is in serious trouble. All right, that's going to be the end of the episode. So our, our starting ship is really good with the technology that we had. I think our starting ship is pretty solid. And it should be able to carry us a little bit until we can get another couple of ships built. So thank you for joining me for this first episode of Airships Conquer the Skies. And we will be, uh, we will be carrying on most definitely. I'm interested. A swarm of clockwork wasps has constructed a hive here. Oh dear. Oh dear. Gonna have to deal with that, I guess. In any case, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.